Hello and welcome to Car and Bike. Now Yamaha has completed 40 years of operations in India. Remember the RX100 and the Yamaha RD350? Now those were bikes that firmly positioned Yamaha as a performance motorcycle brand in India in the 80s and 90s. Even today, India is Yamaha's second largest market after Indonesia. But those volumes today are contributed by Yamaha's 125cc scooters and 125cc motorcycles like the R15 and the MT15. But today, we're not here to talk about Yamaha's history, but to check out the 2024 Yamaha MT09, a performance naked, which is going to be launched in India soon. But before that, please do consider subscribing to the Car and Bike channel. And if you like this video, do share it ahead. Internationally, the Yamaha MT-09 has seen four model updates, 2014, 2017, 2021, and now 2024. In fact, it was launched in the 2017 model year in India, but did not see much success. Now, Yamaha is getting ready to launch the MT-09 once again, possibly as early as maybe early next year in 2025. But this time around, it's got more features, more tech, more electronics, and it's got a new automatic gearbox called the YAMT, the Yamaha Automated Manual Transmission. So the new Yamaha MT-09 and we're in Japan riding this today. And why are we riding this today? Because Yamaha India may soon bring this to India as early as next year. Now the big question is the price. We don't know yet. We don't have any guesses. Yet. If you have any guesses, if you want to be interested in a street naked like this, let us know what price you'll be willing to pay for it. Now there are three versions. This is the base MT-09. There's a mid-spec MT-09 SP, which gets fully adjustable upside down forks finished in gold. And of course, there's the new Yamaha AMT, YAMT, which has got an automatic gearbox. Now, I don't have the bike with me right now, but we have ridden the bike and I'll tell you all about it in a bit. But this bike, do let us know what you think should be the pricing and it will go up against rivals like the Triumph Street Triple, R, Triumph Street Triple RS and of course the Ducati Monster. Now the star of the show is that 890cc cross-plane inline three-cylinder engine. It's got excellent low end torque, strong mid-range and the torque is spread out thick and strong. So with any gear, you will not find the engine lacking in shove. The quick shifter acts like a charm and you'll be able to go up and down the gearbox smoothly and quickly. So now let's talk about how it performs. Of course, we're riding at a track here in Japan and we're quite not prepared for a track ride like this. So, unfortunately, leathers are back. But still, we had a lot of fun throwing this baby around the track here. Beautiful track here. And first things first, the engine. That 890cc inline three cylinder cross plane engine is a gem of an engine. Sounds great. Feels great, strong mid range, so you're not, you always, always have power on tap. Now, the YAMT has three modes in all D, which is your normal automatic, D, plus, which is essentially for sportier riding, which essentially holds higher revs while changing gears. And there's a full manual mode as well, where you can change gears using the switch on the left handlebar for upships and downships. Now, the YAMT may be a convenient thing to have if you're riding primarily on the street, but on a sporty environment like on a track, I felt that the automatic gearbox does tend to upshift sometimes mid-corner, and that could be a tad unsettling. I also feel an optional foot shifter on the, or a gear lever would have made that experience much better to use that manual mode on the automated gearbox but there's no denying the excellent performance and sharp handling of the Yamaha MT-09 with or without the YAMT. If you're primarily looking for a street bike with performance, good performance, good handling, the new MT-09 you can definitely consider. Now, automotive manual transmission, yes, if you're riding it in the city, it's going to be a handy feature to have, but out on the track, I felt it will upshift on its own around corners. It's a little bit unsettling. If you want an AMT, go for it. Personally, me, I would prefer to have more control with a gear lever and a clutch. 
but that is full auto i felt it had on corners it upships many times and that's a little unsettling for me especially when you're going all guns blazing on a track like this so the big question is how is this bike it's a fantastic bike in that segment but the key question will be the price if yamaha india manages to price it well you can definitely consider it amongst all the rivals available in the market right now it's that good yes it is that good. so that's what matters now the price take it this way when it comes to india this may be just a sweet ticket for you